Howdy howdy and welcome everyone to the Minecraftian Server Play Season 1 Episode 4. I'm Egonomicon and today we didn't actually get to a lot uh, last episode, not as much as what I wanted to. Um, I had some notes, kind of misplaced my notes, uh, forgot what certain things were. This was supposed to be the uh, factory for uh, making cobblestone and stuff for uh, the material stonework factory. I needed the plastic and the pink slime, so I was missing ingredients too, so not as much a derp as uh, what I thought it was. But today, I'd like to get started, hopefully finish, but at least get started on working on the base. Last episode, I showed you guys how I had this linked into where it would auto-process uh, my ores, and... When I mine, it still goes into this right here. I clear it out manually, but I'd like to to get by with uh, just mining, having it go to one chest, have it auto sort for me, smelt what can be smelted, and then process what can be processed. For instance, the black quartz from uh, actually additions, you can put it in a redstone furnace, and it'll make uh, one black quartz. However, if you where was it? Put it in the pulverizer, you get two black quartz. So what I'd like to do is have a certain uh, sorting system. Uh, I mine, it goes into my crate, and then it sorts it out, it processes the ingots it can, and then uh, sends the other stuff to the pulverizer to be pulverized, uh, like uh, Certus Quartz, for instance, also from the pulverizer, you get two plus a bonus output. So I'd like to get started on that until we have applied energistics set up. And as you can see, I have a few things in my inventory. Uh, we have the drawer controller and the compacting drawers. I want to get that set up today. And uh, basically the drawer controller can uh, go 12 spaces out from itself in any direction as long as they're connected. So in reality, it can do a 25 by 25 square. Uh, if you need to extend it, use the controller slave. So the first thing we need to do is create another ender chest and set it up. The other one's black, black, white. This one's going to be black, black, and uh, green. And let's see, is this the ender pearl? No. Is it this then? No, must be uh, this. There we go. This is how I've been getting most of my under pearls uh, from mining, not from actually killing enders. We have not found the end yet, the end portal. Uh, it's something we'll work on, and then we'll put a uh, astral sorcery mm -hmm. teleporter there. We do have the waystone mods or mod, um, which we haven't really done anything with. We might get started with that. And of course we have RF tools, so we can always use the, uh, the matter transporter, I believe it's called. Again, I play modded Minecraft a lot, but I'm not one of those that sticks to particular mods. Um, I'm not an elitist with the technology. I make some extravagant stuff at times, but, uh, I'm a builder at heart. Um, most of what I do is so I can build and build and build. I have lots of plans. Um, one of these days I'd like to, you know, we've got a good town here. I'd like to actually make sewers, hook it up, make like a treatment plant type thing. Um, I'd like to do like an industrial craft two nuclear reactor and make it look like an actual reactor. Um, I'd like to do a Cape Canaveral style, uh, launch platform system for, uh, for, uh, derping again, for, uh, the, uh, rocket mod, advanced rocketry. Sorry about that. Advanced rocketry. And, um, not all of those will fit this building style. So this is going to be a sprawling city. We're going to eventually delete the buildings in there. That's going to be an open-air bazaar. Um, 
Kukla's going to be in charge of that. She had some ideas. Looks like we're getting a lot of lightning today. We don't have the weather mod installed anymore. I currently have clouds turned off. Um, not for performance reasons. I get, well, not so much right now, but I'm also rendering the last video. So that causes some issues since I'm doing it on one machine. Eventually I'll set up a, uh, a capture rig and then I'll be able to uh, do this. Also, I don't know if you saw, I play at 2K uh, resolution. So there's, uh, and I record at 2K resolution as well and render. The first video was 1080p. The second one's going to be 2K. Um, I'm not sure which format I'm going to stick with. The 2K obviously is going to look nicer, but uh, I've read a lot that 90% uh, of YouTube is uh, and Twitch is mobile devices, so I'm thinking that I don't really have a reason to, uh, to do 2K if most of the audience is going to be watching 10K. But if you have a preference, let me know. Again, I'm brand new to YouTube, so right now I think I've had like five views on the first video, but it's only been out for a day, so that's pretty good. But feel free to leave comments. No comments yet. Um, the views are good. couple likes. Uh, so everything's looking pretty good, actually. Um, so feel free to comment, uh, and I'll respond to you. And we will get an ender chest, and then I want another ender pouch to go with the ender chest. And, of course, we'll get a dare uh, hooked up on the same system. Oh, yeah, I need the... Uh... And I know this is inefficient. I should be using it in the pulverizer. But, hey, and four of you. That was unintentional. It just came out that way. So, yep, I'm an expert. And there we go. And then we'll go ahead and set you to black, black, and green. And then to link the ender pouch, you simply put it in your hand. Shift right click, not right click. I knew that, just testing you guys. And there we go, and of course, the, I mean, I love having Alamite on my pickaxe, and I hate it at the same time. When I'm building, I absolutely hate it, but uh, when I'm mining, I absolutely love it. So put you back, and we'll put you back, and we will put you back. And uh, again, most of that dirt was all from just using the swapping wand on the floor there. I didn't realize at the time when I was building it how much resources it would actually take. Um, but basically the bottom floor alone is almost 15,000 blocks by 15,000 blocks. Uh, you can see the elevator in the middle. I actually love that. So, and Stalin's building is just looking so nice. I really love uh, what he did with the copper roof. Um, I don't build with a lot of metal blocks, but boy, that that just looks nice. It really does. Uh, we've been a little lazy. I haven't finished the road uh, or the bridge. I haven't finished the road. I didn't put the bridge over here yet. So I need to get back to doing that. Uh, but, okay, so we have this set up. Built some of this. We've got some more resources. Oh, looks like, oh, that's the wrong one. I was going to say, looks like it's all done processing, but no, it's still processing. So let's go ahead and go over to here. Thankfully, there's no trees on fire. I may remove these stairs. I don't like them. It takes up a lot of real estate. This could be a nice, like, courtyard little area for the temple, and it's just not needed because of the elevator. I love that water elevator. I, completely unintended side effect. Okay, so what I've done here is I figured this out, laid this out. This will be the controller block, and this is roughly 12 blocks. Well, not roughly, it is 12 blocks. This way, and then 12 blocks this way, which is, again, the maximum range of the controller for... that the controller can access, that's still 12 blocks, it's just not right on the edges. So what I figured here is the, con the controller's actually gonna be inset right here. So we'll go ahead and place that. And 
this is the floor. So we'll place that here. And again, we can extend it with slaves back this way. So eventually we can have our whole storage system uh, be built out of this. But for now, these are going to be the compacting drawers for, oh, see, I'm derping already. And these are going to all go into my mining chest. So again, love and hate it, love and hate it. Hide that behind there and we'll put some item conduits to it. So these will actually be flush with our false wall and we'll have all our conduit in the back and behind it to try and make it look nice. Um, put these up here. And again, we don't have this many ingots yet. Uh, we don't have upgrades for these yet. We'll build some upgrades. Uh, I will not be voiding my ingots. So I'm thinking we'll have some sort of priority overflow of a chest or something, but we'll get that set up later. And um, what material are you on? Grass blocks. Let's change you to dirt blocks and build a platform that I can stand on. Where's center? Try and keep those uh, somewhat organized. I'll leave that up because we're going to be uh, retrieving those other drawers and putting them up here. And I may put some normal drawers up here. We may chisel them uh, or make them look different. Uh, I'm not sure what drawers we're going to go with, whether we'll keep all these as compacting drawers. I may make this row, row all compacting drawers because uh, this was just for the ingots. We can still do glowstone, redstone, uh, lapis, uh, diamonds, uh, all of those uh, ender pearls, um, all of those through here. So I did start this the other day. And I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and along this bottom row. Again, we don't need all of this yet because we just don't have this many machines yet. But I'm going to build a setup here that's kind of going to be the manual uh, setup. So this will be manual processing. We'll have pulverizer, redstone furnace, etc., etc. All of the stuff for this chest, the auto... Uh, uh, auto processes through the pulverizer into the redstone furnace and then into the storage well it won't go into the storage crate it'll go into the storage drawers i may keep a crate as a buffer i'm a fan of buffers that way if it gets full it stops um, the same thing would happen here but i like buffers um, i don't know we'll, we'll see i may put the buffer before or the buffer after i think uh, it makes more sense to do, do the buffer after but to do this, I'm going to need to run power back here. So I'm probably going to need more of these uh, leadstone flux ducts. So you know what I do need, actually. Let's go ahead and take and make a crafting table back here. Just make it a little bit easier. Now, I prefer the Tinker's Construct crafting table just because it keeps its inventory. And... Uh, if I could spell lead correct, correctly, there we go, perfect. And we'll do this, and we don't need to make that many. Let's get uh, 24 should work. And then where should I put this? I don't want to run a lot of flux ducts, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know what, let's... Uh, Let's do this overhead. Let's... And we will get to some more building, uh, chisel some bits. I have uh, a few ideas. Um, can I do that? Does that? Well, it connects, so that should be getting power. Okay, perfect. So now we need to make another pulverizer. So let's go to the pulverizer. Looks like we need some flint, pistons, copper gears and redstone reception coils. So let's make a few coils. Actually, before I do that, let's see. I do not have any in here, so let's go ahead and make those. 
We'll make six of them for now. And then some copper gears, which should be copper and iron. Uh, plenty of copper, plenty of iron. Now, generally, when I make gears and stuff, I tend to over-make them. Just, uh, why don't you work? Do I need stone? I think I need stone gears for the copper gears. Yes, I do. Well, luckily... Now, the Dank Null's an interesting uh, mod. I've never used it. I've had it in several mod packs, and it's one of those things that I just, I never used. And uh, as it turns out, it's one of the best things you can imagine. I absolutely love the Dank Null. I, I might actually make another one. Uh, they can hold items. Uh, the top tier can hold like two billion of each block or item. So it's the perfect backpack. I mean, we have iron backpacks, we have, have iron chest, and this is just uh, far superior in my opinion. Okay, so we have the gears. I wonder, actually, um, let's go ahead and make a piston. Should be some cobble, redstone, and iron, and planks. We actually have all of those thanks to our dank null. We'll do this and this. And yeah, do we want 16? Yeah, let's go ahead and make 16. That way we can have some extras. We'll make two pulverizers, actually, because I know we're going to need them. And like I said, I'm a fan of uh, over-making. <laughs> so we will put some gravel into the pulverizer. And do we have gravel in the dank null? Yes, we do. Sorry, just need to interrupt you for a little bit. And that's all we needed. Yep, you can continue working. So we'll put you back. And then, uh, you know what, though? I wanted to make two, but we'll just make one for now. And, of course, the machine block, which is a tin gear, iron, and uh, glass. And so we'll need more stone gears. More stone gears. We'll drop you, because I'm going to pick you up, and you're going to go back in my dank null. And then we'll need some tin. And I'm pretty sure I have plenty of tin. Yeah, there we go. We'll actually put you there. You sh shouldn't go there, but hey. Okay. And we'll make 12 of you. And that's always my downfall, making too many uh, spare parts, which again, clutters my inventory. So, there we go. And there we go. We have a pulverizer. Now we need a redstone furnace. Actually, well, yeah, let's go ahead and do a redstone furnace. We need two pulverizers, so I am going to have to make another one. So we'll make another one of you. So let's get, let's get all of you, and let's go ahead and make 11 of you, because we're going to need you. And then let's go ahead and get you back, and we'll put you here and bricks we don't have bricks on us do we have clay 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 hmm does not look like we have any clay on us so we're gonna have to go back to the base um, the mining camp that's okay but before that let's go ahead and make the other pulverizer And, of course, we're missing flint and copper gears. We have the copper gears, yes. 
Okay, let's go back to the base real quick, the mining camp, sorry. I do have to fix the lighting in here. Again, nothing can spawn because we have the mega torches uh, all around the exterior. Uh, right in here, there's about four mega torches right through here on each side. So uh, again, it's a little bit over. I'm not sure. I believe the mega torches are 32 by 32 square, but if they're 32 by 32 circular radius, then I didn't want like dead zones. Uh, you know, like a weak zone where they, uh, the edge, edges of the radius kind of meet up. So, uh, didn't want to have to deal with that. We'll do you, and what else did I need? The copper gears we have. So, we have this. We'll make you. And then we will do redstone furnace. Oh yeah, and that's why I came here for the bricks so let's go ahead and put the wool away for now and then ch -ch -ch, my bricks so we will do pulverizer and pulverizer we will do let's do two of you and then, okay, let's go back to our base. This is actually our base. That's just the mining camp. We've been using it as our base since day two on the server. But it's, uh, now that we have this beautiful building, we should start using this. And go down the elevator. If you want to go down faster, you just kind of go out of the water stream. And I always come out and start going the wrong way. This will help once we actually have our storage array set up. And there we go. Okay, so, but it's, uh, now that we have this beautiful building, we should start using this. And go down the elevator. If you want to go down faster, you just kind of go out of the water stream. So, how do we want to do this? I guess right there. And... Shift click to stop anything or to close all your ports. We will do a pulverizer here. Shift click and then we will do the redstone furnace here. And we will close you, but we'll accept from there. And we will output to there. And we're going to accept the top. We're going to go ahead and accept the top. And where do I want to export? Um, I think maybe we'll do the back. Yeah, we'll do the back here. And then we'll do the back here. And then we'll just pipe directly into there. That should work. And then, so, pulverizer, pulverizer, redstone furnace. And let's go ahead and do a redstone furnace that will accept from the top, output to the back. And what these will be, oh, uh, you know what though? I need to run power. Where am I gonna run power? Um, well, I could run power underneath. I am gonna do a basement eventually. Don't need to do a basement, but let's go ahead and get some of you back. Um, or you know what? Let's just go ahead and run down here. And that's the other issue again, is when you're building and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my favorite building morph is the B cause you can just do so much stuff. It's so small, but when you morph, it always moves your tools around, which I dislike. Okay. And that should be the last one. And you know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh, do I have any of my... Dank null. Any marble. Oh, I do have some. Let's go ahead and use that then. And I will go ahead and... Make the floor... 
marble. There we go. The other thing I like about the bee is you still have full hit points. So we will accept power from underneath. And of course I'm out. Let's make some more, shall we? Open the crafting and make another 24. It's always a good number. And there we go. Here and here. And then close that up. Now eventually this will be more machines and stuff. And we could also do facades from uh, uh, chisels and bits. Make our own little facades. Uh, go over everything. I believe that will work. Let's put you back in the dank null. And morph back to ourselves. Okay, so that should work. And then do we have item conduits? We do have a few item conduits. So we're going to output from the back. And I'll need servos for these, I believe. Not sure if they will... Uh, yeah, let's make some more item conduits. I'm not sure if those will auto push into the uh, item conduits or not. Uh, they're ducks, sorry. Again, used to uh, Ender IO. So, tin and hardened glass. Do I have any more hardened glass? I do. So, let's. Well, let's see. Ten should work. And then I still have some tin on me. So let's uh, do that and that. And let's get six. Try not to over make on you this time. Because we'll probably be replacing these uh, and upgrading these, I would imagine. And then there. So let's see. Can you... Auto input enabled, auto input enabled, auto input enabled, and auto input enabled. Interestingly enough, had I done auto input enabled on this when this was there, I probably wouldn't have needed the servo, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, so if I put you here. You know what? I'm going to, since I'm building, temporarily link you there. You just shift right click or sneak right click if you've uh, uh, changed your key bindings uh, to the uh, inventory you want all of your ores to go into. So that way, while I'm building anything that I mine will go into here instead of over there at our other base. So if I put something in you, will you auto export? That's a pulverizer, so let's go ahead and do, well, I think I only needed, well, let's do two. So will you auto input? You will. That's actually very handy, but you're not getting any power. Why are you not getting power? You have power, 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 power. Apparently, you're not actually connected there, so that's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and get you back item duct and did I pick up the servo I don't think that I did no I didn't hmm well let's go ahead pick you up put you back and then let's go ahead and pick you up and put you back and turn you auto input enabled and you should automatically go from there and then we need one more mm, let's take you from over here and now are you getting power yes you are so that's perfect 
However, I'm going to want to take you out of there because I don't want you to send anything to here yet. Okay. But I'm curious, will you? Well, let's go ahead and send one. So we'll let you finish and see what you do. So black, black, green will be just a pulverizer. This will be this right here, which let's go ahead and move this for now. Now these aren't upgraded, so it's going to slow everything up, but we'll build some upgrades on them. Um, so you are going to process. You're slow, but you're going to process. You'll send it to the pulverizer. The pulverizer should auto output to the back. And then the redstone furnace will be for like stone, glass, uh, anything like that. And eventually we'll build that factory uh, from Industrial 4 going that can make glass for us, cobblestone, sand, everything uh, automatically. So this will be less important once we get that up and running, but for now it's going to be good for us. So let's see. You did auto output and where did you go? So that's good. If it automatically went into the duct, it's probably one of these uh, bottom ones. Let me go ahead and remove this. So we made sand, and uh, of course it's compacting drawer, so we also have sandstone. So that's good. Go ahead and... There we go. Didn't have enough in there, so it wouldn't let me take the sandstone out. Um, let's go ahead and process you to glass real quick and we'll take you out. So this will make our, will you not actually, I don't think you will. Okay, so that is actually not a furnace recipe, you are actually a pulverizer recipe. So let's take you out. That means... Interesting, because I thought we had sent some here already. Why are you out of power? You have power. Are you not able to... No, you have power too. So why... Maybe it's because the way I moved it. I'm not sure. So let's put you there. Let's go ahead. And for now, I don't think you have any. Let's put you here. Now, you don't compact. So, nope, we do have you somewhere. So we will put you here for now. We'll take you. And I'm going to go ahead and put you back down and see if you get power. There you go. So apparently when you move them with the wand, they don't seem to reconnect to power and stuff. So that's good to know. So we will take you out and let's go ahead and move you for now. And I'm going to put you right there and we'll get our servo and we'll go ahead and just start exporting you into our storage array. And you're not going to be very fast, but we should see you start to export. Yeah, there we go. And we may speed these up. Um, again, I'm not, I mean, we'll definitely upgrade these and speed these up for sure. But I don't know if we necessarily need to speed this up because I don't know. Yeah, did that come out of here? No, it came out of here. Okay. So we will need to filter the ores better. And we'll probably move these around. I don't know how we're going to lay them out yet, but we'll probably go ahead and do that and get this set up and lock these drawers once they're set up how we want. We'll take them up, uh, get those other storage drawers or compacting drawers I made. Probably this whole array here, at least for the third row, will be compacting drawers. 
And then the top row will probably just be normal storage drawers for stuff like the uh, dilithium dust and stuff. And then we'll see what we need to do with the dilithium dust to uh, process it. Now I think we can go directly into a furnace with this too. Um, let's see here what we get. Dilithium dust. So yeah, it's yin and yang on that. So I think this is definitely a good start for what we want to uh, get accomplished here. Uh, just need to set up the rest of the chest, probably make another ender chest just for this, for, like I said, glass, stone, whatever. But once we get the uh, Stoneworks factory, um, this becomes kind of obsolete. But for now, it'd be handy to have. That way we can make glass and get it in. We can make stone, clay, uh, another one we could do. This would always be handy for making clay bricks and stuff. These will move over to here and make them manual processing. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Do I have any more? I don't. Boy, we use a lot of uh, leadstone energy ducts. So let's go ahead and get some more of these. And that's about all we're going to be able to do right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll take you, you, and you. Oh, you actually had some rich slag in you. That's good. And some aluminum ore. We will put the aluminum ore in here. Pick you up and put you in there and there. So pulverizer, furnace, induction smelter. Pulverizer, furnace, induction smelter. And then, so you will be manual, you will be manual, and you'll be manual. And let's go ahead and import from the top, and we will export to the side. And we'll have a crate here, and a crate here, and a crate here, and a crate here. Actually, this, this might be an ender chest still. Um, for more manual processing or for figuring stuff out. That way we can uh, still just dump stuff in here in case this is backlogged. Uh, we can always go into the second one. And this seems to be working pretty good. Um, it's not upgraded as much as Adair's is. Uh, we don't yet have any augments in it. And I know this is a huge mess. And we'll get this uh, wired better. Uh, once we get the layout uh, figured out for exactly what we want, I may move these down one and make this corner a little neater so we can actually see this storage drawer over here. Again, this is the max limit, so if I do go up, eh, you know what, I may not. I think I'll keep this. We will move you to right here for now. And then I believe I put my cyclic building scepter away and we'll do like this yeah I think that'll look that'll look nice and then of course this won't be open but uh, with the morse if you make like a tiny little mouse hole like right here you can actually go through there as a morph and get back here so I think that'd be good and uh with that, I think that's about it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm Eganomicon. Uh, please, if you like the videos, remember to leave a like. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you much. Bye.